um, today we are going to graph some different types of lines and we're also going to take a look at their equations. So first of all, when you look at a graph, you might want to think of where it all starts. And that would be the point right in the center, the origin, also known as 0, 0. So when you move to the right of 0, 0, you're moving along the positive direction in the x-axis. When you move to the left of that point 0, 0, you're going to be moving along towards a negative x value on the axis. Similarly, when you're moving up along the y-axis, you're going towards positive direction. And when you move down from the origin along the y-axis, you're moving in a negative y direction. So let's say we have a line which goes through 0, 0, and then it goes through 1, 2, and then it goes through 2, 4. Forever and ever that way. Forever and ever that way. What type of line is it? Some people might call it a diagonal line. Our mathematical name for it is an oblique line. We can describe it in a couple of different ways. If we look at the three points that make it up, we want to find out what type of equation would describe that going through 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 4. Let's make a table of values and see what would happen. As we increase by 1 on the x's, we're increasing by 2 on the y's. If we assume this pattern goes on forever, it's going to be a line where every time we go over one unit, we're going to be going up 2. Over one unit, up 2. Over one unit, up 2. This is called the slope of the line. If we were going to write an equation for this oblique line, we would say that Every time we go from the x to the y, we multiply by 2. So y is equal to 2x. In our next type of line, we're going to look at a horizontal line. Horizontal, think horizon. Here's the sun on the horizon. Horizon is going to be going left and right. So let's pick a horizontal line anywhere on our graph. Here's our x, here's our y. The arrows indicate it's going forever and ever to the right and to the left. We know that for each point along this line, no matter where I pick it, that one thing is always going to be the same. Our y value is always going to be 4. is going to change depending on where we are. So this would be a horizontal line with the equation the y is always equal to 4. And our last type of line that we're going to look at is vertical. B-E-R- C A L. So let's take a vertical line anywhere on our graph. And we've got, I'll make a vertical line going this way. So we're going to
going to find out where we're going on the x-axis. We're not going to the right, so it's not positive. We're going to the left, so it's going to be negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So any point on this line is going to be... have an x value of minus 7. And the y value is going to change depending on where you are. So this would be a vertical line with the equation x is always equal to minus 7. So these are our three types of lines. So vertical lines going vertically with a formula of x equal to something. Horizontal lines with an equation of y equal to a number. And oblique lines, of which there are many, with equations that can look like y equal to a number. It could be y equal to a negative number. You could have a variety of types of lines.